Hey guys, Jarek here, and Komodo's back, and Raptor's also back. Holy you have, crap. Dude, you, <laughs> you haven't been here for a while. I know. So, you yeah. finally just renewed your live and uh, played your first Halo 4 in, what, three, four months? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold yeah. on. What's up with that uh, that carbine? Why is it all different colors? Uh, uh, you get camo for... Oh, look at this dude, he doesn't know. <laughs> Excuse me, losers. Um, you level it up enough and you'll get different camos for the That guys. guy has the best clan tag, 420. Get out. I, I was actually concerned. I first got into this Warthog and I'm like, oh great, my driver has a freaking tag of 420. He's gonna be an idiot. And surprisingly enough, he was a pretty good driver trying to set me up so I could actually <laughs> shoot them. And avoiding shots and everything. I ended up dying anyway because I was the target for everybody. <laughs> Nothing I was gonna do Damn. there. So yeah, you just renewed your live. Uh, I think it's been literally gotta be like four or five months since you played this last Yeah. Time. Something like that. Because I kinda lost. Well, that's when you stopped playing this way because you were like all crying over the weapon. <laughs> well, <laughs> it was so horribly balanced that I was just sick of Halo 4 and I didn't want to play it, but the patch really has helped it a lot. Um, and what do you think about the patch so far? Uh, you've had some opinions I haven't agreed with. Uh, but <laughs> I like them. I like how the carbine shoots faster, and I'm not. The battle rifle does seem a lot stronger. I'm not sure if I'm okay with that. Yeah, that was the one thing I was kind of iffy about. The carbine actually doesn't shoot faster, it just shoots stronger. Uh, it'll take seven shots to kill now. Really? The battle rifle is now a four-shot kill or a two-shot melee kill. Uh, it's been a while. It, it kind of just feels faster to me. I think it's a little bit faster than Halo 3, and that's probably why you're a little confused. Yeah. And I really do like the the close-range weapon, the automatic. They feel good now. They buff them so much, and they really kind of desperately the, needed it. The storm it. rifle feels the exact same to me. There's like no change. What are you talking about? It's so much stronger. I could not use a storm rifle before. I don't and know what like, you guys are talking about. You can't use it, but I like the biggest difference. That shit. Like personally, for me, the biggest difference with the full autos is that you could use them before, but you really had to be go extra out of your way to get up close to them. Yeah, and it, so. you were at a very big disadvantage instantly if anyone had a DMR, even if they were up close, especially with how bad the aim assist was. Like, it just, like, tracked them on their own. Like, they didn't even have to aim. It would do all the aiming for them. Also, I was kind of being a bitch at the beginning of this game, camping right in their spawn <laughs> with a saw and everything. And uh, yeah, they, and they could the not kill me. And you're using the regeneration shield. I'm surprised they're not running in there to get regenerated, too. I had one person specifically that really, really was hating me. <laughs> he he kept it's this guy that's cloaked right there. He kept coming in cloaked, just slowly <laughs> walking in trying to get me. And he just could Wait, not get well, me. What I don't understand is how they don't have the little cloud, in, you know, that shows up in the radar. Um, I'm pretty sure there is an upgrade that allows that to go away. See right there, there is that little dot you can see. Sometimes you can't see that. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I've had that happen sometimes, and and there he is right there, just trying. To, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was trying to assassinate me, but. By the way, this map is like, it's really good. I like it. It's, it kind of reminds me of Blood Gulch in a way. It, it, it's really odd because my first impression was this seems very similar to kind of a smaller version of Blood Gulch. My second impression was this feels Sidewinder. more like Sidewinder. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, it's still sort of a straight to the enemy base to base thing. Yeah, but this has a curve. Like Sidewinder. Yeah, it, kind of a little bit, but it, you know, it's kind of like a mixture. I mean, it, it's its own map in its own right, but. I like it a lot. It's definitely a lot better than any of the launch maps. Yeah, it's maps. fun. <laughs> and he stuck me. How did he stick me? <laughs> he was in the death animation. finally got you. And this was... whole war going on up here. This happens every single game. Both teams all run up here. I'm not entirely sure why I was going up here, because you should never do that. I always just go around anyway. I'm just like running in with the turret too. <laughs> so OP. You have, um, what's the uh, upgrades you have? I have Gunner, which makes me like walk extremely fast with the turret. <laughs> and the cooldown on the turret is like really quick too. It's pretty much reload time with the cooldown. Yeah, but when you pull it off, I don't think there's any reload. I mean like on vehicles too. You know how there's cooldown on most of the vehicle weapon? It cools down faster. Yeah, usually it's not really much of an issue unless I'm like shooting at a mech or something and they manage to not kill me in forever. High grenades! Holy crap. <laughs> that guy's still standing there. Yeah, I don't know how he has to die. <laughs> Everyone on this map, I'm gonna be honest, they're pretty fucking dumb. Uh, they all seem to run up to that ridge. They all want to just go like straight up against the whole enemy team. And of course, they might kill one hey, person and then they die. I was leading that party. <laughs> well, that's because you had a turret. That's that's okay to do. <laughs> like, that's the main suppressing gun. Um, but this is a pretty decent game overall. It's eh, nothing much more to say about it. I just had a decent game on the carbine and felt like uploading it. 
I remember him just like one shotgun guy was high over here. Yeah, poking. that was that was the game before. And this was the slowdown I was getting all night. Like it wasn't too yeah, bad this game. It was the frame rate. Yeah, it was dropping horribly all like even when I was in the menu sometimes it would drop to like fifteen frames a second. I really, really wish they would just put these games on PC. Cause you imagine playing this game on PC <gasps> with higher that waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly amused. But yeah, put it on PC with higher res textures and a good FOV. Because you can't see anything. You're like wearing horse blinds. The FOV is like 78 <laughs> degrees. It's you, terrible. Look at you farting off those green bubble. <laughs> is that the pose you go into when you need a fart? <laughs> I don't know how that guy didn't get me. So, I had someone else ask me though, and you seem very not amused right now. He's, Don't mind me, I'm just playing with my fork. He's playing with a fork. <laughs> oh, so I got up behind the entire enemy team here. Holy got a crap. few of them, and then they all Holy noticed shit. me. That's what you're supposed to do. That's the way I always play this map. Why did you... Did you have grenades that time? I, I wasn't looking. Um, I didn't want to throw grenades. I didn't want to get any attention. I was trying to assassinate as many people as I could. Because <laughs> if I shot one of them, they all would have been like, There he is, get him! I'd rather weaken everybody with the grenades. I... Okay, so here I actually was contemplating for a while because if you look at my ordnance drops I have a hammer a speed boost and a needler I wanted the hammer to get up behind them because if I did that last just, life I would have gotten yeah. everyone but at the same time this map is so wide open I eventually just chose to get the speed boost because it's more useful does that like make you reload faster too yeah that everything is faster uh, look at you, a whole stupid. enemy team <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> there was no way I was gonna survive that see I had someone asking me um, What's my opinion on the differences between Halo 3 multiplayer and Halo 4 multiplayer? And my first thought was, why would you be asking that? <laughs> like, they're nothing alike in any way. I mean, they're still Halo, but There's they're so... no elites! And you can't do will. Uh, that... Okay, the elites thing still pisses me off. Why can't I play as an elite? Everyone's just gonna get mad about not being able to shoot him because in the head. That's the only yeah, reason. Because that was kind of cheap in Halo 2 and 3 to, like, turn around and walk away looking down. Looking they they down. could not kill you. <laughs> Um, as for the dual wielding, I'm honestly hello. <laughs> that guy was aggressive. He wanted you. His body was ready. Shotgun. <laughs> I don't even think that guy knew I was there. Um, what else? Alright, the dual wielding, I'm kind of indifferent about it, to be completely honest. Because they did a really good job. I got a hit marker with three of them around. I don't know how that worked. But they did a really good job balancing the dual wielding in Halo 3 compared to Halo 2. Because Halo 2 was just terrible when it yeah. came to that. You spawn with an SMG, you're pretty much damn useless until you pick up something else. Uh, but in Halo 3, they did a good job balancing it in, but no matter how good you do, it's still gonna create imbalances. Worst aim of my life right there. <laughs> you saw a dolphin. Must kill it. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely Whoa! high grenade. I don't know how that didn't even hurt me. That would be great if that stuck you didn't kill everyone right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be so mad because I was like, right there, I think. So that reminds me of freaking my days in Halo 1. I would join a server and there would be someone on the other team that was pissing me off. So I would switch teams and then have someone else that like I was just on the team with and like talking to stick me and then I would run into my teammates. Wow. <laughs> just to be a dick. <laughs> it worked. Yeah, everybody's just lobbing grenades now. This is why I Holy use the regeneration shit. field. I totally would have died if I didn't have this. Uh, do you have the reduced grenade damage thing? Explosives? I'm pretty sure I do have that set. I, that's like almost a must. Hello, Whoa. shock! A nice spawn. Oh, that's Halo the 4. one where you're like yelling, "Why well, spawn there to a shotgun guy?" <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> that's the other thing. Like they do the Call of Duty approach where they spawn people They're on me. each end. <laughs> I'm running out of your freaking turret. But yeah, they spawn people on each edge of that ridge up there, and it just encourages people to shoot at each other on the ridge and do nothing else. Yeah. Call of Duty does the same thing. I hate it when games do that. See, a pretty decent game, nothing absolutely amazing, but some more Halo 4, enjoy it.